today's video, we are at Nico Circuit and it is competition day for a layout that we are not used to, reverse. For MSC, which is essentially Japan's Pro-Am Drift Competition for Formula Drift. If we do well here today, we can move into Formula Drift J2 and then from there, Formula Drift Japan Pro 1. My goal is to try and get there by the end of the year and get that license and I think we can do it. Today is gonna to be an amazing day. We got the chaser warming up there. We got all the support we need today. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys the layout just quickly, let you know what I need to work with today. I think we're gonna be all right. It seems like with the advice from Fusto and Steve, cause those guys have won this competition a fair few times. It's really helping me out knowing where and what I need to do at what points. But let me show you. These are the first two outer clipping points here. Now here is very interesting. You only have outer clipping points for this competition, no inners. So all we have to do is hit these two. So we have to be drifting by the time we hit here. So you can initiate wherever you want along that straight there. Obviously you want to come through here with a bunch of angle, come through here with another bunch of angle in the inner road here, not the outer. Clip these two outer clipping points here. Then you need to be very careful and come through here shallow so you have enough momentum and speed to come through and hit these two outer clipping points here and then all the way through to these two outer clipping points finish line is there and finish so it's definitely going to be very technical and hard as you can see beginners are out there trying to give it their all um, but yeah it's going to be very interesting it's technical i've never driven this layout before i have tried doing it in reverse but the way i was driving it is nothing like this so it's gonna be fun what are we doing now 9 um, 20 so Oiling myself to death. Yeah, it's, I don't know how, probably like 35 now. It is so bad, and I'm in this. At least I got my nice cool vans on though, they're keeping my feet nice and cool. Um, yeah, water girl, please. <laughs> yeah, you need like a water gun to just, ah. Uh... So, I think we got this, I really do. Like, I think we're gonna do well today. I just found out um, we gotta do, like, we gotta score really, really well it's kind of like a scoring system just like Pro-Am so we may have to drive a few more MSC events before we can get our license but I think we got this especially with the chaser I got a lot of driving obviously seat time in this so we should be good less care about it don't have to drive it home so it's probably going to be the only competition I can go full full send all right time to head out on track get some practice laps in for this event is this is very interesting to me um, the practice run is only one car at a time on the track which doesn't make sense but I guess they want to avoid people crashing um, so there's only 20 minutes of this so that means that they're only gonna get like two two runs or something like that uh, which I was not expecting but I'm pretty sure that's fine I think it's gonna be able to handle it pretty well so yeah, we'll put on a show for us later. the teacher says well how was that I think it's pretty for get change gear <laughs> yeah it's true I think you need a second then <laughs> it's okay first run <laughs> May does Foster recommend entering third and down to second okay yeah that's what 
what it felt like. Thank you. the same 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 way again okay 
What's my duty? Now use third gear. Initiation good, but the second out zone have to be deeper. Okay, second out zone deeper. Okay. You can do it, Sam. All right, second run for qualifying. So whichever one gets the highest point is will be the highest point. the bumper. <laughs> to hear if we qualified they're announcing it now oh. I got top eight 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 top eight where's the happy dance dude top eight Hachiban this dude that's huge why don't we make a promise here if I'm we like take, make it to the, the top inside. three if you make it to the top three, you can give a kiss to Steve. Oh. I mean, I'll kiss Steve any day. That man fixed my car so many times. Julian is losing it. don't need to know that. Okay. The list is up. We're going to find out who I'm going to be battling with now. I'm a little bit nervous. Let's find out. All right, so here's the battle list. We are... Here, eighth place, we're versing this guy, number 24, and we overall scored uh, four here, Lucas, 84. We did really well. So, let's go find who we're versing, number 24. I just realized something. I've never battled anyone in a competition before. So, yikes. Let's see, we're looking for number, number 24, 43. 26, 24. Oh, okay. So S14, S15 front. Looks fast, looks SR. Okay, all right. I know what the character what characteristics to expect from this guy. Let's see. Oh, I'm so excited. We definitely need to do a pit walk later, but check out this uh this Mark II. It literally looks like a TME Evo with his livery. It's cracking me up. So funny. So in short, there's no battles for top 16. Well, it is a battle, but it's like a single battle. So we get one run each, and the person who does better than the other moves on to top eight, and that's when we do tandem battles. Things are about to get very interesting. Time to go. I'm excited. Let's do it.
got the shift. That was good angle on entry too. Get the second one. Before he did a pretty good entry. So I think he's gonna do really well this one. happened is his entry there was really nice but uh, when he hit here you guys saw that it was like kind of correcting and went straight so that might be a uh, issue but car number 24 Suzuki gets the win so 24 car wins. number 24 Suzuki gets win <laughs> <laughs> yeah he made a mistake yeah he can't do anything he he understood that Obviously, I lost, um, made a really big mistake on the second run, which cost me a lot. I kind of had to use a lot of angle. To be honest, I should have spun. If I didn't have the angle, I wouldn't have been able to save it. And because of that, um, I wasn't reaching the cones as deep as I wanted. So I kind of I kind of put the car where I wanted to, not thinking. And that straightened me out at the top there a tiny bit. So that's not good. And that's what led to the other guy winning. So next time we won't do that and I'll just follow the run through because I think having a shallower line and not straightening is still going to get you points on the board. Um, so I just need to remember that. But also like first time driving at this event, first time driving this layout to qualify A and to do as well as I've done today in a car that I've not competed in before. Honestly, I'm really stoked. We got further than we have with any other comp. It's just a matter of more seat time practice and just, I guess, learning. Like, honestly, I'm so happy with the results today. I think it's awesome because Hido, who's 11 years old, is now going to be battling with the guy that beat me, which is also really young. I think he's like 13 or 14 or something. If you guys don't know Hido um, uh, Minoa, Hido Minoa, he is 11 years old. He's driving his mom's FD Pro 1 car and he's really qualified first. He was who I was gonna have to battle if I won. Um, so it's kind of cool to see some young guys now battling it out, so pass it on to them. But yeah, like I'm trying, like obviously I am disappointed because I wanted to do better, but we're still getting points on the board. We go to another MSC event, we get those points racked up, then we can go into FDJ2 right away and work up to Pro 1. Um, but yeah, just new car, different car, never driven with that in comp before, new layout. I'm just stoked with the, the Honestly, it's pretty good. I'm happy. I think I'm trying to convince myself now, to be honest. But <laughs> it's fine. It's always a little bit of a hit to the guts when you don't do as well as you hoped <laughs> or you thought you were going to. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're going to do a pit walk in a little bit and have a look at some of the cars that are here. I'm losing my voice, um, but yeah, it was a good time. I actually worked out the real reason why I just lost. It's because they doomed me from the start. They gave me number four. In Japan, this means yong, but also shi, and shi also is the same as shinderu, which means death and die. So they kind of, I was doomed from the start, they gave me the number four, it's their fault. No. <laughs> I was talking to Fasto, and uh, we didn't actually change my tires, so I actually have really old front tires from Ebisu still on here, and I think. Like I felt the front not really gripping as much as I needed it to through there and that's kind of why I think we ended up in a few hairy situations where I had to use a lot of angle and then straighten out a bit. But we drove well and I'm happy. It's Rohab's turn. Oh no buddy, no, no! Did he spin? No! gonna be so upset. Spinabi, 
Spinabi. Spinabi. Rohavi Janai, Spinabi. Bro, what? Bro, what? what did I did do? Did you not shift a second? No, I didn't. Why? My bad, bro. My bad. Who <laughs> the first one? I know. I know. I messed up. Damn. Sorry. Damn, man. Sorry, guys. Sorry. It's alright. It's alright. Now we have to go home. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hot here, anyways. Hey, Tamarazan, Genki. Bye. I know I promised you guys a pit walk, but this is all I'm willing to do because it is so hot today. I want to stay in the K van in the aircon. So we had an A80 Super there. We'll go around this side real quick. We got Moni's S13. That's Rohab's wife's car. Zenki S14, SR. The TME uh, um, Mark II is actually um, Razelle's car from Buy Now Japan. Nice S13 with bricks. Tomata Sans Cube. Um, S15 with a nice pink valve cover, if I must say so myself. The guy that beat me. Um, <laughs> uh, S14 Koki, S15, S15, Laurel, and FD. A lot of cool cars here today. Unfortunately, I wish mine was still there. <laughs> but we're gonna be, we're gonna come back and do it again. Obviously, the PMU uh, Chaser always looks good here too. What's that? Do you have a, a donut competition? Is there a donut competition? Yeah. I know there's a donut eating competition. I don't know about donuts. I'm sure in Australia, technically a burnout competition would be that, I guess. Okay. Hito's yeah, going yeah. out. He's going to the, I guess the top four, which is insane, honestly, 11 year old. Makes me makes me uh, feel old seeing an 11 year old already out there in like a D1 pro car, uh, FD pro car, sorry. We're just cruising around the pits. Kind of feels like the walk of shame. Rohab's loading his car up. Normally we call him Rohabi, but now we call him Spinabi. <laughs> oh, we need an S15 like that. We need an S15 like that. We need for to build me? one. No, just for me. I need all the cars. All right, we're gonna head home and fight with traffic. Let's see how bad it's gonna be. It is a public holiday weekend. Plus, so. we have Olympics. Yeah, Olympics so, too. So, if you do not know what's happening, oh, what? most of the, what? They put a fence here to stop people watching. That's not fair. Well, I also understand too, because lots of people would come for free and not pay and just watch there. It's not cool. All right, anyways, weekend, Olympics. We're gonna be stuck in traffic. Yeah, a lot of gates are closed. So that means like plus two, three hours traffic. These guys stole my car. Oi! Bye, Brazil! <laughs> Uh, we've already hit some traffic, but check out these Golf GTIs. Not only, like, is it rare to see one of these in the wild here in Japan, but two? So clean. It's the next day. I'm fully refreshed and recovered from yesterday. And after a fresh perspective, going through all the footage and having a good chat with Fusto, um, he, he said the same thing back to me, but the chaser is just not set up for competing in it is it's an ebisu missile i'm sure something's bent in the front and all that kind of stuff you know like the frame from all the accidents and crashes we've had with it but just in general the car itself is not set up for being competitive and the gear ratio and all that kind of stuff the final gear that i was dude i was struggling to make that car to do what i needed it to i'm sure you could see from the footage like just how every other car was driving out there compared to mine um and to be honest if we did make it to tandem battles it probably would have ended right there because there is no way i was keeping up with hiro minawa and his six to eight hundred horsepower pro one car that his mum drives so <laughs> um all of that aside we did really really well and i'm excited to hit the ground running at the next msc event with the s15 that thing's set up and ready to party and we should hopefully be able to perform the way that we need to but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's video do me a massive favor though i'm trying to get the instagram up to at least 100k uh in the next few months so if you aren't following me on instagram please do it's just semit01 um information is down in the description and if you want to support me and the channel and what we do and the future fd build uh definitely uh, hit that link in the description, grab yourself some Summit merch. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely filmed a little bit different than normal. May was helping out a whole bunch, so you've kind of got that third perspective kind of view. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget as well, Summit Raw channel, there's some cool content there, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Jamata.